Welcome to our show, Positive Mind. We bring you a lot of topics to choose from, things that can relate to you, things can relate to your environment, people you know. We bring you a variety of topics. Today I want to talk about personal construct and what those are, how do we create them, and what are you going to do about them. You know, there was a, a psychologist in the early 20th century that talked about these constructs. His name is George Kelly. And I would like to talk about some of the things that he talked about in general, so that way we can apply it and maybe make some changes in the way we think about things. Stay tuned. Welcome back. We're talking about George Kelly's theory, which was personal construct. Of course, George Kelly talked about a lot of things. He's a well-known psychologist, personality theorist. Um, he was known to have uh, cognitive restructuring, but mainly his theory got to really be famous because he talked about this um, personal construct, construct that we have in our mind. And what he's really trying to say in a very simple term is that a lot of times we have certain things, perceptions or, um, you know, representation of certain things in our head that really affect the way we see the world. And one of the things he had said is that we all have choices in the way we put these constructs or these perceptions or these labels or these ideas in our head. And we have the right to be able to change them just as much as we put them in there. We can also be very flexible in the way we change them. The good thing about what he's really saying is that a lot of times the way we perceive the world, we perceive them in our own lenses. We have a perception of certain things because of our experiences or maybe our age, or maybe some of the things we've seen growing up or maybe what we see in social media. All of these things give us labels and they give us certain perception on how we see things. And this is why he was saying it explains why two people can see the same thing, can have similar experiences, but their interpretation of what they saw could be different. Like he says a lot of times that even simple things like, for example, what is a good hotel for you might mean something different than what it could be for someone else. So when someone has an, a perception of what a good hotel is, it probably means something different to other people. So if I asked you, tell me, give me five things that come to your mind when you hear the word good hotel or the first uh, five things that come to you when I say a good father, or the first five things that uh, comes to your mind when I say a healthy diet. Again, these, you know, some of us might have certain things in common, but ultimately the different labels that we have might be very different for different people. So what a good father is for you, someone that spends time with his kids, maybe that's the first thing that comes to your mind. It might be someone that works a lot. Um, for example, or someone that is really genuine, someone that gives hugs. So all of these labels that we have for certain categories of things differ between one person and the other. So that's one of the things he says. But he also says that because we have certain standards and how we understand certain things, that determines how we evaluate the world around us. And that's probably why they thought that he was a cognitive psychologist, because they, he, he talked a lot about the perception, the cognition, the thoughts that we have, and therefore because we have certain base, we build a lot of our experiences on these labels or these base. When we come back, I'll talk a little bit more about what are these constructs, what are you going to do with them, and how you can really change negative ones to a positive one. Stay tuned. Welcome back. We're talking about labels. We're talking about construct. Earlier I said that there was a psychologist, early 20th century, talked about this construct, personal construct. And what George Kelly was talking about is this, this base, these ideas, labels, heuristics, representation, whatever you want to call them. They are interpretation, the lens that we've created in order for us to be able to understand certain experiences that are different from other people. And this pretty much explains why two people can say the same thing. They can see the same experience, the same car, 
crash, for example, a fight, uh, whatever it is, or they can even see the same hotel, and their interpretation about the hotel has a lot to do with their own experiences, the way they've created what things are, um, what their, um, uh, their own personal attachment to this thing. So what he's really trying to say, and what really is important for us to know, not that, that we have these constructs, but what these constructs represent and how we've created these lenses where we can see the world. And that's why some people can see the world in a more positive way and some people can see it in a negative way. These constructs also can have like some sort of a polar opposite or bipolar or whatever you want to call it, is that the idea is that you could see something good, but you can also see something as bad or people that constantly want to see things bad who are probably more prone to becoming depressed, pessimistic, who always feel that the, the lens that they're looking things at are always attracted to something more negative versus people who are optimistic and have had good experiences or have helped themselves see things more in a positive light. They tend to make more interpretation about things. Even if the thing is negative, they see it more in a positive light. So the idea is, is that if you're in a hotel, regardless if it was like a bad hotel and it doesn't meet your standard of a good hotel, someone that sees a hotel as a good thing, they could look at the good thing of how they can enjoy their time versus people they will be concentrating a lot on all the negative thing that this hotel has and therefore you won't enjoy your stay. As simple as that. Or for example, for me, a student that can fail one exam comes to me and says, I'm going to fail your class in an idea that because their construct is more that if you fail something, which generalizes that you will be a failure in other things, which is probably not realistic. So I oftentimes ask my student, you just failed one exam that's worth 20% of your grade. How is that interpretation even realistic to the idea of what grade you can get? Because we've got many other opportunities where you can make up this exam and be able to get a good grade and pass this course. While another student could even fail two exams and never come to me and say, I'm gonna fail your class, because their construct, their lens, is more about that they probably been in other classes where they probably failed two exams and still got an A in the class. So their interpretation is very different from this student who has this experience that if I failed one class means that I've uh, one exam to fail the class. So what I'm trying to say to you is that a lot of times it is our choice and that's what even George Kelly said is that we should be flexible in the perception that we have in these constructs. And the nice thing about it is that I've created these structures or these labels in my head and therefore I have the opportunity and also the right and the power to be able to change them. So when you think that things are negative, stop yourself for a minute and think about it. Well, you know, is it really, are we generalizing? Are we trying to put a label to something and we cast, we make it a catastrophe? Or are you the person who's going to look at that situation in just one situation? And then they look at the bigger picture that there are probably other opportunities where these labels can be changed. And this can go for our discrimination. It can go for the way you see your job or as a student. This can apply to many people. Watch what your constructs are. They are negative be able to have the power to change them. You are the only one in charge of your own life and how you see the world and what lens you've created. Thank you so much for joining us. And remember, on this show, we always keep it positive.